But Norby was involved in a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. What was the whole sports scheme? Okay. Were you involved in this? Because your name was coming up whenever I did searches for this thing. In a nutshell, here's what happened. Okay, and I get asked about this all the time. This is why they call me a rat, because of Norby Walters, okay. mainly because of Norby Walters, right? right? Um, Norby had this, he, he, he uh, connected with a guy by the name of Lloyd Bloom. Lloyd Bloom was an athlete, former athlete, right? Knew a lot of athletes. And so they wanted to start representing athletes for their pro contracts. So Norby comes to me, he says, we're going to start this. I give Norby $250,000 to do this. Uh, to be in this business with Lloyd Bloom. As it turns out, Norby was getting college athletes to sign a contract with him prior to their eligibility, which was against NCAA rules, and he was paying them cash to do it. Yeah. And then he took the contract, put it in a drawer, and then when they got out of college, he would be their representative, right? Right. So that's the scheme. What happens is, for some reason, I go to jail. I'm in jail, right? Shortly after this, after we became partners in this. And some of the athletes, for some reason, did not want to honor the contract. Norby started to threaten them. Mm. Michael Francis, Sonny Francis, he was using both of our names. I'm in Terminal Island, California. Three o'clock in the morning, I'm there for a couple of years. Three o'clock in the morning, they come and take me. You're being shipped out. Where am I going? They say, you're going to Chicago. I said, Chicago, why? Had nothing going on in Chicago. Long story short, Norby had been indicted or was going to be indicted. My name was mentioned on the tapes for, you know, threatening people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they were going to put me in a case. And I said, I don't know anything about this. I've been in jail. Well, you're Norby's partner. I said, look, they had me in El Reno, Oklahoma, as they were bringing me to Chicago. I finally found out what this was all about. Were you Norby's partner? Yeah. In terms of what exactly? In terms of his sports business, his agency business. So the business that was getting athletes to sign illegally, you were part of that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But you weren't involved in intimidating people? Or no, no. Like I was in jail when the whole thing developed. Got it. Okay, enough, go on. Right? So when I find out about it, I heard they're going to subpoena me, my father, and my brother. Mm -hmm. So I told Norby, I sent word to him. I said, Norby, they're offering you a plea, 16 months. Take the plea. Me and my dad have enough trouble. Lloyd Bloom was getting a year. He refused. He said, I'm not doing it. Hmm. So I told them, I said, subpoena me. I'll come in and, and testify. And that's what happened. They had me on a stand for a half an hour. I said, look, I gave the guy this money. I said, I have no idea who he's threatening. I've been in jail. I can't threaten anybody from the you know, a prison phone. And that was it. Nobody gets convicted. He had 25 witnesses testify against him. All the athletes, somebody from Notre Dame, mm. so many people testified. The guys that he was actually doing the business with. All I said is that, hey, he's associated with me and my dad for 25 years. You know, we were partners with him. That's it. I did give him the money, and I don't know what he was going to do. He gets convicted, but the conviction gets overturned. So he never does a day in prison. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. And, and that was it. I mean, were you and Norby cool after that or not really? You know, I seen. <laughs> it's funny. I, I don't know if we're cool or not because there was. Do you remember Billboard Live? You remember that place on Sunset? It was a big club. Not I was part of the club. Anyway, yeah. Um, we had a big grand opening where we closed down the whole street, right? And I'm with uh, Bruce McNall, who, who remember he used to own the uh, the Kings. Mm -hmm. Bruce, a good friend of mine. And so we're in the middle of the street, and I turn to my left, and there's Norby. I hadn't seen him, right? years. So I told my wife was me. I said, hold on a second. I got to go see somebody. I turned around. He was gone. Disappeared. <laughs> the saw you first? Gone. Yeah. I've never seen him since. Interesting. I mean, when you look at what's happening right now with the, the name and likeness deals that are happening in college, because I mean, you still can't sign a contract early, right? No. That part is still illegal. But you now have situations where star athletes can actually make potentially millions of dollars while they're still in college. Yeah. Now, this is only a few a few of the college people actually get this, right. but it almost, you know, now you have a chance for people not to have to do these little back-end deals and everything else like that. I mean, um, you know, like for example, like, like Reggie Bush, he had to give back his Heisman yeah. because they found mm -hmm. out that people were essentially paying him while he was still in college. Mm -hmm. But you hear this all the time. I mean, do you like the idea of the name and likeness deals for college athletes? 
You know, if it doesn't go beyond that, yeah. I mean, you know, oddly enough, you know, I spoke at over 300 universities throughout my 20 years. They're starting to call me back again. You know, some of that, you know, uh, but mostly because there's, there's gambling issues happening all over again. It's exactly what I predicted. I said, look, it's all about access. There's so much access to gambling online now. These kids are going to continue to get in trouble, probably worse. Now they don't have to go to a bookmaker. So I've been, I'm going to Alabama and a bunch of schools, you know, coming up. Um, you know, listen, I, I'm all for letting people earn money. I really am. The problem is with these young kids, they, their heads get filled up right away. And before you know it, they're doing things they shouldn't be doing. So it's, it's dangerous in that regard. Uh, but I think for the most part, it's okay.